Hello everyone, today is Friday, August 16th. Uh, you can see my computer clock here. And I'm on my server, so it looks a little different. Anyway, it's just uh, a few minutes before the regular session close, and I had pulled this up because the trade was live, and I guess why we were watching it, it just closed. So this uh, is the week uh, Friday recap, and I'm going to show a bunch of charts and our spreadsheet and see how uh, the weekly performance uh, ended up. So this chart here is this uh, six Renko template, and this finished at plus 250 for the day, and it ran up as high as a little over 300 here. So this is where it closed the trade at 300. The run-up was probably more like 400. So uh, the goal on this is 750 trading two contracts. Okay, I see what's happening here. So anyway, it finished at 250, which is uh, still good. And I think this particular chart uh, had a pretty good week. Uh, once again, I'll, I'll bring all that over after I show uh, today's charts. Okay, next up is the e mini S&P on a 1597 Heike and Ashi chart. And this probably hit its goal of 500 here and had some slippage, ended up ending up with 462.50. This also had a very strong week, uh, only one losing day, finishing at about 1400 for the week. Okay, so I'm going to bring over the spreadsheet and I'm going to highlight uh, some of the charts that finished the week uh, with over a thousand dollars. Most of the charts are trading a single contract. Uh, the first one I want to show is the DAX here on the 34 tick line break. The reason this works is because on the 34 tick line break chart, which is here, uh, we are using a limit order with just a two tick pullback but line break charts very effectively eliminate noise. The rules for the way these bars form and the way you would get this chart is to select line break and then tick and then 34 and the default in NinjaTrader is 3 and I usually use that. And so a line break chart very effectively eliminates noise. And so by eliminating the noise, you get really nice swings like this. And of course, we have uh, on this, the precision trend exit is uh, ignored. So we're not exiting at these uh, one bar reversals. Same here uh, with precision trend exit. I, we would have exited at the close of this bar, but it went a little further. It's, it took the stop loss. But this works out pretty good and you can see how well it eliminated noise and also using our open range filter we're only going in the direction of the market here so uh, this chart uh, had a very strong performance this week effectively doing 2537 not a single losing day this week I've been running this 34 tick line break for a very long time, actually several years. This goes back a long way. I learned to trade line break about 20 years ago, and I've always uh, believed in it. I've always followed it. So I run a couple of charts with line break charts. Uh, I used to run more, but then I felt there wasn't much interest in it as uh, you really can't effectively back test them. But we have a very good forward test going. If you searched our video channel for line break charts, you'd find uh, quite a bit. This is a good testimony that this can be really reliable. Okay, next up is the e mini s and on a Superenco 4 tick with a Superenco 6 tick higher time frame. This has been a chart that I've followed for a very long time and have always stated in many videos prior to um, having our spreadsheet that this was a really reliable chart and now uh, tracking on spreadsheet really proves that this particular chart was uh, one of the most profitable e mini s p charts of the week here it is here and this didn't have a losing day this week and ended up with 1750 the super anko five tick did not have a losing day and did 1725 
remember this is a single contract and then the regular six Renko chart which is also a good performer just only did 125 so this particular chart here and the reason I have so many Super Renko four tick charts in different configurations is that it's a very effective time frame for the E-mini S&P uh, most of them are using a higher time frame filter and that works pretty well so I just wanted to bring this email over that came in uh, today you can see the date and <clears throat> this is a client of mine that's having great success with the auto trader and he just renewed his license and this is what he said it's been a good year as always the auto trader is fantastic and uh, a couple other comments here so uh, there you go um, people are having success other than Jim anyway the Super Anko 4 tick in several configurations has done very very good okay this is the Super Anko 4 tick with the open range filter and the step moving average and so we had a losing trade here and this was down 62.50 for the day but for the week this is the template here and here it is for the week uh, 62.50 down today so there was two losing days one of them very small and still managed to do 1050 through the week and that is on a single contract okay next I want to point out the uh, E-mini S&P on the 1597 hike and ashy chart this only had one losing day this week and did 1437 for the week on a single contract and so here's that chart which I already showed and I'm showing it again here okay the super rank of four tick with the 1597 uh, hike and ashy chart as a higher time frame uh, did a little over a thousand for the week there were two losing days one of them very small and the other days it hit its target so this one was very good and here's today's trades from that chart uh, doing 562.50 here a small loser to start and then two really nice winners getting positive slippage okay so for the first time I tried the uh, auto trader on the micro contracts and uh, this ran up like fifty dollars on two trades so I forget what the uh, value is uh, something like uh, 1250 a point instead of 50 or something like that anyway this would have been pretty good return just these two trades and then there were some losers here and it drew down uh, looks like only about thirty dollars and then it managed to recover and finish uh, positive <laughs> at, at just under ten dollars but I think there's potential here you can afford to go for maybe some bigger moves or more trades okay the crude oil on a super Renko 8 chart has been very good this week it struggled a bit a bit but came back strong on two contracts and hit its goal of a thousand to finish up for the week and here is that chart here there was a very nice short here off the open that uh, very nice uh, open range trade off the open and then there was a loser here and a winner here but let's look at this trade off the open because this is that pattern I'm talking about and it shows itself every day so if you were assisting this and you took this trade a little earlier this is using line break logic so it didn't take the trade until it crossed the line break here but you could have gotten in here a little bit earlier okay the next chart I want to bring over is the DAX on the 150 Heiken Ashi chart this has been a chart that I've been showing for a very long time at least a year maybe two or more and this had a very strong week finished at 1437 uh, there was one losing day here and today it hit its goal let me bring that chart over okay this is uh, trading the US session and a single contract so it didn't 
take the trade until here. You could have taken this trade, probably didn't get filled on its limit order, but if you would have entered manually here, you can see the size of the swing to hit its goal was only this much. This would have hit its goal on this first swing had we taken this very first trade, or even the second swing, but we probably didn't get filled on our limit order because it is a six tick pullback, so certainly I could make that less. Anyway, this is a really great consistent chart for trading the DAX. My client who's trading the DAX is trading the London Open, and he did very well on the Superanko 14 tick, which was negative for the week. Here is your uh, Superanko 14 tick here, and this was negative 1,200 for the week, but last week it was up over 3,000. Now, my client had better uh, results this week trading the London Open. So, uh, I think I'm going to compare the London Open versus the U.S. Open and run the charts in both time frames. I'm actually setting up a third computer to uh, track more charts and have more uh, relevant data. I, I don't believe in back testing. Forward testing is the way to go, and it's very tedious. It's way more difficult. But that's what I'm attempting to build here is a forward testing database, and this is the only way to do it. It's a lot of work, but the results are far more accurate than any back test. Okay, the next chart I want to bring over is the Renko 5, regular Renko on a E-mini S&P chart, and this did 17.25 for the week. It did not have a losing day this week. So this is a regular 5 Renko chart and we're actually smoothing out some of the reversals here and then we're using our Super Anko 8 as a higher time frame filter and that is working excellent with the Renko bars you can see this would have been a horrible whipsaw twice had it not been for the higher time frame and so this did only 250 today but had a very strong finish for the week here at 1725 this is trading a single contract. Okay, the next chart I want to bring over is the Super Anko 6 with the Super Anko 6 higher time frame. This uh, had a strong finish this week, only one losing day. I wanted to point out that this chart was a really solid winner last week. And so this has been on quite the win streak here. Okay, for some time I've been running the configurations of my charts as the Fibonacci numbers 377, the next one up would be 610, and then 987, and then 1597. A client had suggested that I try this time frame, which I did, and so from the beginning of this week, uh, this did not have a losing day. Let's check it out. Uh, correction, it had one losing day here but 4 out of 5 and finished at uh, 15.45 is very strong on the uh, NASDAQ 610 Heiken Ashi tick chart. In fact, it was the top performing Heiken Ashi chart for the week and then followed by the NASDAQ on the 15.97. So it goes 610, 9.87, 15.97. And then here's the 9.87, which did 200. Okay, here's the uh, E-mini S&P on the Super Anko 6 with the Super Anko 6 higher time frame. And this did 425 for today, and then uh, this week it did only, uh, let's see here. It's actually this chart here. It did 1362 for the week. Okay, last but definitely not least is the Emin S&P on a Super Anko 4 tick chart with the Super Anko 6 higher time frame, a chart I have been showing now for many, many years and continually repeating that this is one of our best performing charts. And today and this week it proved that it is uh, hit its goal in a single trade here, as you can see, uh, not using the open range filter, but the trade was right off the open just very well timed and it just doesn't get any better than this let's check it out on the spreadsheet 
Okay, I kind of lost track of where I was here, and I think I only had one more chart to show, and that is this one here. The Super Inco 6 that starts trading at 12.30 noon. This was down 387.50. Uh, prior to that, it was up 12.50 minus this. Makes it finish at 862.50 for the week, which is still very good because this is, again, a very consistent chart. We'll have a quick look at that here, and... Uh, it started off in trouble and uh, didn't get very far and then finally stopped out. So it happens, but still finished uh, respectable for the week, uh, trading a single contract. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.